So this is a quick review of the Manfrotto holster camera bag. It's a medium size. Uh, the reason I bought this was the holster top loading style camera bag is my favourite. And also, we open her up, it is the perfect size for my Canon 60 and 16 to 35 millimeter f4L IS lens. Um, obviously, I can't have the camera grip on here, which is a bit of a shame, but it fits the camera and the lens, which is the main thing. Right, let's just put this down. Right, now on to the bag. When I first opened the box, I was pretty impressed. I mean, it looks pretty good. It looks sturdy, well made, pretty, pretty much like you'd expect from a Manfrotto product. However, when I looked closer, that's when things started to come to light that I didn't like. First off, these little rings here are made of plastic. The low pro top loader bags are metal and a lot stronger. In addition, this little clip here is also made of plastic. Once again, the low pro bag is metal. Whilst it may look sturdy, I don't know if I trust it to hold my expensive 6D and 16-35mm f4 lens. I mean that's quite a bit, of, quite a lot of money's worth there and to be honest I don't trust this. If it was metal like the low pro bag it would be totally different. There we go. Right now onto the inside. There is a tiny bit of padding in there but not too much. Once again not overly impressed with the amount of padding. The low pro has got a lot more. Would I trust this to protect my, my Canon 6D? I don't think so, it's pretty flimsy and to be honest not that great. Right, the other thing, these side pockets, there's obviously one on each side, they're absolutely tiny. Open it up, I mean what can you fit in there for a day? Spare battery maybe, lens cleaning cloth, lens pen, that's about it. When I go out for a day, I like to take my flash with me, just a little TT350, which as you can see is a tiny little flash. Whilst this will fit in the side pocket, if you get it in the right angle, it won't do all the way up. So I can't even take my little flash with me when I go out for the day, which is a real shame. If I took, if I wanted to take my bigger flash, the Godex V860, it's a lot bigger than this and there is no way that that flash would fit in this side pocket and neither would it fit inside once the camera and lens is in there. Right, so let's do this up. The Manfrotto camera bag is supplied with a waterproof cover which is essential and in order to put it on all you do is you unclip strap like so sorry I'm not ever so quick at this right and here it is put it on the side grab and the strap goes as you can see it's fiddly but then it is with all camera bags and it takes a little bit of practice which I haven't had the chance to do yet as you can see but anyway it will go on like so right there we have it right once the cover's on it looks pretty waterproof but whether it is or not I don't know I haven't done the waterproof test on this bag yet that will be coming in another review clip it on The waterproof cover feels pretty sturdy, feels like it should keep it dry and I have no reason to doubt that it won't. The problem with the waterproof cover is once it's on you can't get to your camera. So if it's lightly spitting and you just want to make sure that your camera bag and your camera remains dry whilst you're walking around and then kind of like take it out as the photo opportunities arise, you're not going to be able to, to capture those moments using this cover. The only way to get to the camera is to take the cover off, which to be honest is pretty stupid. My low pro top loader bag has a nice little slit there and I can just release it, pull the top, open it up, get the camera out, take the shot, put the camera back, then take the cover, fold it back over and carry on. This you can't. Right, so let's take the waterproof cover off. The other issue with this waterproof 
cover is, it's totally separate from the bag. The low pro one is attached by a little cord and once it's not in use it basically tucks up inside a little pocket. There's no such pocket with this Malprato bag and also there's no strap to keep this attached to the camera bag either. This could easily get lost or dropped. The only place to put this is in one of these side pockets as so and once it's in there that pocket is now basically useless and you can't use it for anything else so you have two tiny side pockets for your gear one of which is going to have the waterproof cover in it mm, not great like I said absolutely tiny inside once the camera and lens is in there, there's no room for anything else. I suppose I could stick a lens cleaning cloth down the side and the lens pen down there, but that's about it. There is somewhere to hold some memory cards there, but it's pretty standard on all the camera bags, really. So there we have it. This is the Manfrotto holster camera bag. Would I recommend this? To be honest, for expensive photography equipment such as my Canon 6D, and 16 to 35 millimeter f4l lens which combined is a couple of thousand quid worth of kit i would say no there is no way i would trust these plastic hoops these plastic clips the thin padding and the way the waterproof cover works to adequately protect my expensive stuff if you have a smaller and cheaper camera then this bag could be quite good value for money but for professional professional spec equipment it's not and basically this camera bag has been a total waste of money and to be honest it's one I'm never going to use and I'm going to chuck it on a popular well-known online auction site very to soon very soon to see if I can recoup some of my money so there we go is the Manfrotto camera bag for you only you can answer that but it's definitely not for me.